Good afternoon. I'm going to present the Renewable Energy Grid Integration and Distributed Generation Specialization that it is running in Spain. And I'm going to present more or less all of these things. Why studying electrical issues that are not very famous in the well in any country or in any university? Why studying this kind of issues in Spain, in Zaragoza? I'm going to explain briefly the learning program, some of the student materials, laboratories, technical visits, and the different enterprises that are giving conferences at our specialization. So, well, the main challenges of the renewable energy, or, 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 sorry, of the different renewable energy is the grid integration. So if the deployment, the, the massive deployment of the renewable energy deals with the grid integration. And this is one of the main issues that we must deal with. The electrical grid needs an accurate balance and this is a not to, we, we need to do that and at this moment the mass electric storage is not possible. So we are facing with vari variable renewable energies with random behavior. These are different figures to show all these, all these issues. Something that helps is the different electrical exchange between the different countries. France and Germany are two points that are like buffers of energy between the different countries. But you must, at the bottom of the figure, you, you, you look at Spain and it is almost an island from almost any point of view. Okay? And electrically, even more. But on the other side, Spain is one of the renewable integration leaders. So we have dealt, we have dealt with many of the problems related with the grid integration, and all of this related mainly to the wind energy that it is the most deployed in Spain. You can you can look that more than half of the total power installed in Spain is wind energy at this moment, and we have reached in the. I don't know, well, in the last year we have reached a third of the energy that has been um, in Spain has been energy that comes from the wind, the wind field. So, in addition, the, the electrical department of our university is, is being considered one of the, well, between the five top of Spain. We in Aragon have a, 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 an important resource in wind energy and we have worked a lot with different companies to put some solutions on the table to deal with the different problems that the, the wind energy have and the master that you have enrolled is considered in Spain the, the master that we are giving and obviously the European one between also the fifth betters in the energy field so we are well positioned in these aspects too in addition we are enrolled in different European projects, so we are updating any knowledge every day. You have the, uh, well, several European projects in which we are working on. I'm not going to describe them because 10 minutes are not many time, and the lecturers from the universities tend to speak and speak and speak about ourselves. So I am, I am being trained to be, to be brief. This is the learning program. We are explaining something about distributed generation, something about generation and storing technologies, so the, the technological part, control techniques and renewable energy integration systems, obviously the power width analysis and studies, that is a, a, an important part, smart grids and standards and electric markets. If you need some mathematics to go to Greece, you need some electrical knowledge to come to Spain, because obviously it's the base. Some students with not much electrical knowledge has come, they have passed, but obviously it, it is not the best situation. More than mathematics, you need some knowledge about electricity. We have an online platform in which any material presentation and so on is shared with the different students. We have written six different books, one per lesson, in order that the different students have all the materials they can review or study without any problem and you can follow the class with no taking many notes and you are going to use also professional software 
to study the grid and to do the different simulations that are needed <coughs> to deal with the different problems related to the grid integration of the renewable energies. You are also, the, the, the practical lessons are in our labs. In these labs, you are going to manage with professional things, with protection relays, different testers. This is the smart grid laboratory. We also we are also visit several power plants and hydraulic central, and we are also visiting one of the most important control centers related to renewable en energy in the world. That it is the the TSO, the Spanish Grid Operators Control Center. Okay, we are visiting these two. We are also visiting another technological center. This one is more related to the hydrogen, that it is also an, an important storage system that. It must be taken into account. And some small green integration and in which you can have together wind energy, solar energy, some storage. This is an installation of about several hundred kilowatts, thinking for distributed generation. And this has been developed by, by us in, in consortium with other companies. So you can see how it works at this moment. We have also two labs that, that are in-field test labs prepared to deal with the voltage deep test that any wind turbine must comply with to be connected to the grid. This is some of the companies that are giving lessons du during the, the specialization. Acciona Energy, Acciona Wind Power, Arteche, you have a brief description of, of the companies there. I think that the presentation are going to be shared with the so you can read something more about the different enterprises. Dix Island, Endesa, that this is one of the most important DSO in Spain. Red Electrica, that it is the TSO in Spain. Uh, Forest, and that is an, an spin off of CIRCE. And the Hydrogen Technological Development Foundation, that is also a technological center. And finally, with something like is one of the things that we are looking for is that you, we, we want you to enjoy your visit to Zaragoza. Until now, I think that the different students that have come have enjoyed it. So thank you very much. And we will wait for you in Zaragoza. Thank you.